Welcome to our lecture online. Here we're going to show you what happens when you take the determinant of the product of two matrices, A and B, when the first matrix is a 3 by 1 and the second matrix is a 1 by 3. It will turn out that when we take the determinant of that product, you'll get 0, and that will be the case every single time. So let's illustrate that and see how that works. First, let's multiply the two matrices together. When you multiply 3 by 1, with a 1 by 3, you will get a 3 by 3 matrix. So A multiplied times B is equal to, and that will give you a 3 by 3 matrix. To get the first element, we multiply this element times this element. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. Then to get the, let's see here, so we multiply 1 times negative 1. Then to get the second element, we multiply 1 times 2, which is 2. And the third element, 1 times a negative 4, which is a negative 4. Now we go to the second row to get the elements of the second row. So 3 times negative 1 is a negative 3, 3 times 2, which is a 6, and 3 times negative 4, which is a negative 12. Finally, to get the three elements in the third row, we we'll multiply this times these three elements, 2 times negative 1, negative 2, 2 times 2, 4, 2 times negative 4 is a negative 8. So there's our 3 by 3 matrix. Now we're going to take the determinant of that matrix and it should equal zero as predicted. So the determinant of A times B is equal to, take the first element, minus one, multiply times the matrix of these four elements, or I should say the determinant of these four elements, six, four, minus 12, minus eight, minus two, so it's now negative, the second element here, times the determinant of these four, would be negative 3, negative 2, negative 12, and negative 8. And then plus a negative 4 times, if we cross out this row and this column, we get those four elements, negative 3, negative 2, 6, and 4. And let's see what that equals to. This equals negative 1 times minus 48, minus times a minus, that would be plus 48 minus 2 times. Here we get, that's a plus 24, minus 24, and finally we get plus, oh, no, not plus, because the plus times the minus, the minus 4 times. Here we get a minus 12, minus a minus 12, that's a plus 12, and sure enough, notice that in each case, this is 0 plus 0 plus 0, or 0. When you take the determinant of a n by 1 times a 1 by n matrix, you will always get 0. And here's an illustration of how that works.